Hello, I am Ben Brownlee from Curious Turtle, and we're going to be having a look at how we use BCC Magic Sharp in DaVinci Resolve. And as the name implies, the Magic Sharp is a sharpening filter, where the magic bit is getting sharpness without those unsightly halos that you can often see in other sharpening filters. And there's a couple of different ways that we can use this filter. So let's look at it first in the edit room to actually help fix a shot, something that was a little bit unsharp when it was created. So let's just reset my filter here. And this is one of those filters where the presets will get you most of the way there the majority of the time. I want a lot of sharpness on this, so I'm going to start off with our double sharpness filter. And of course, I can tune this up and down by changing the sharpening amount, changing the sharpening threshold, which can help to only sharpen the edges rather than sharpening the edges and any noise or grain that's in the shot. And we also have the sharpen radius, which fattens up our contrast lines within those areas. We can get very finely detailed into it by using the detail tuning here to only affect certain frequencies in our image. But a lot of the time you'll just need these main sharpening tools at the top to get the result you need. Now we've added quite a lot of sharpness here, which has also had the unfortunate side effect of sharpening up our grain as well. And that's very noticeable in our arm over here and also in the patch of green over on the side here. And there are a couple of different ways of trying to reduce this. We can use noise suppression, directly in our main controls up at the top. Adding in too much noise suppression is obviously going to soften the image. So we want to keep this value as low as possible. And let's turn this back down to zero and have a look at the other way, which is to reduce the grit. And here we can adjust our grit radius and grit sensitivity to better match the natural grain in the shot. Again, taking these values up too high is going to soften out the image. So we want to keep this one as low as possible as well. One other way that we can limit the effect is to use the pixel chooser that's built into a lot of the BCC filters. And we can pull a key with our mat or we can create a mask, including our mocha masks. So we can use the built-in version of mocha to create and track in more complex shapes. So here I'm just going to very quickly create up a little shape around this object and track it through. And I come back into Resolve now that's only going to be affecting the area within our mask. And we can feather this up a little bit and do some of our final adjustments. And then to compare the before and after, I can use our compare mode and take a look at the effect that that's having. And then we can finish off tuning it how we need it to be. Now, the other way that I use Magic Sharp is actually a sort of bread and butter effect. And it's something I put a little bit of across almost every project right at the very end. So that's something we can apply just as a timeline node right at the very end of the node tree. Let's bring in my magic sharp. And let's bring this to actual size so we can have a little look at this a bit easier. And this is a case where I, again, I go back to my presets and I found that as a finishing effect, the high threshold sharp edges really does a great job for me. So let's put, turn the compare mode on so we can see what this is doing. So I'll use this preset as my starting point and then just adjust the sharpness down or up as I need it to. And here we're just picking up a lot of the very high frequency edges just to give our shot a little bit of extra pop right at the very end. And that's how we can get started with BCC Magic Sharp in DaVinci Resolve. Thanks for watching and be sure to click on the link in the description to download a free trial of Continuum for OFX and check it out for yourself. Also, follow Boris FX on YouTube, Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with the latest information and training materials on Continuum, Sapphire, Mocha Pro and all the Boris FX products.